You can make any wishes that you have come true. You can make any wishes that you have come true quickly. But there's some teachings of the Bible that are misunderstood and hidden. So in this video, I want to share with you something that's been kept secret for thousands of years. And that's how to use the power of God, the power of the universal energy that has made manifest a perfect solar system as far as we know it and a constantly expanding solar system so it's totally infinite in nature and all things are possible to it how to tap into that same energy so that you can manifest anything you want so you can fulfill any wish that you have this is jake Ducey with jakeducey.com this was kept secret but now the cat's out of the bag you are more powerful than you believe and here's how you tap into that Okay, so in the Bible it says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So let's look at the first part. If you abide in me, what does that mean? If you abide in me, if you realize your own oneness with universal energy, if you realize your own oneness with God energy. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water, so let's forget about exactly, I wanna call it this way, you wanna call it this way, we'll just call it God or universal energy. It's this intelligence that has made manifest everything in existence, it spins the earth perfectly around the sun, it created a perfect um, respiratory system, you don't have to remind yourself to breathe while you're listening to this. And if you abide in me, and my words abide in you. So if you abide in me, what is that saying to us? If your consciousness is on the oneness and realization of this higher power, you're connected to it, you are, you are in it, you are aware of it. And most often people are the opposite, right? Because they think they're just this little body, God's way out there, hey God, where are you? Can you hear me, God? Please, if you could help me answer my dreams come true, I'll always, I'll be your biggest fan. I'll tell everybody about you. I'll always believe in you. It's like it's out there. But it says, if you abide in me. So that means if you are aware of your oneness with this universal consciousness. And then it says, my words abide in you. Well, in the Bible, it says first was the word. What is, what is the word of God? It's consciousness actually. What are words? They're an expression of consciousness. Science tells us that consciousness creates everything. So atoms, an A-T-O-M, an atom, the physical building blocks of the universe, they're 95 to 99% empty space. They're 95 to 99% invisible. So 95 or more percent of everything in the physical world that you can see, touch, taste, and smell is actually made primarily of invisible substance. What is this invisible substance? It's certainly divine intelligence, it's certainly intelligence, it's consciousness. Now, through the observer effect, quantum physicists have showed us that your consciousness of subatomic particles, after atoms, there are these little things called subatomic particles, scientists would observe the subatomic particles. Sometimes they would exist, and sometimes they didn't exist and it became based off of who was observing it and how they were observing it, whether it existed or didn't exist. It's pretty crazy, huh? So what is that telling us? That consciousness creates the most basic fundamentals of physical matter, subatomic particles and ultimately atoms and ultimately everything in existence is made manifest from consciousness. Now it says, my words abide in you. What would be the word of God? The word of God would be abundance, right? Because this universe is constantly expanding. It'd be perfection. It's so perfect. I started as, you and I started as a protoplasm. It contained your eye colors. All of your organs were inside this protoplasm. It spins the earth perfectly around the sun. It's perfect. Wealth in, in, in constant expansion. Think about the fact that the universe is always expanding. It's never stationary. It's constantly expanding at all times. So the God's nature is total wealth, abundance, and um, constant growth. And then love. Like this universal energy, this God energy is totally loving. So the word of God the expression of God's consciousness, the expression of universal intelligence is 
perfection, abundance, love, and constant expansion. So if this God energy is in everything, and the only thing that stops us from this connection is our own resistance to it, is our own lack of awareness of it, because the universe gave us free will here in, as we incarnated as spiritual beings in physical bodies. The universe gave us free will so that we could either commune with, realize our oneness with God and live from this more exalted place, or the exact opposite in either way. We're here just to learn certain spiritual lessons. And so we were given free will. So most people often block this oneness with the universe. But it says right here, if you abide in me, if you stay connected to the universe, if you constantly express your gratitude that the universal's power flows through you, if you constantly express that you abide, that you are one with this universe and that this God energy, its words, speak life into your experience, meaning it's words, right? What are its words? Love, abundance, constant growth, and perfection. So that's God's will, essentially. That's the will of God, is constant expansion, love, perfection, and abundance. If you're one with it, and you're not separate from it because this universal intelligence, this God energy is everywhere, then you can actually express the will of God or connect to the actual perfect harmony of the universe. Simply by recognizing your own oneness with this universe at all times, and then if you abide in me and my words abide in you. So meaning if you can speak the will of God. In the Bible it says to those that have more will be given. What do you suppose that means? If you possess something in consciousness, you will get more of it. It's not saying if you're rich, I'll give you more stuff, and if you're poor, you're screwed. To those that do not have, even that which they have will be taken away from them. It's talking about consciousness. When you own something in consciousness, thank you God, thank you universe, that you've amplified my life, that, that, the, that the will of your constant expansion and abundance circulates in my life just like it circulates through this entire universe and cosmos that my bank account is growing I'm getting promotions I'm getting new clients I just sold my I just sold my very first home as a real estate agent I just got my brand new company off and running I'm attracting amazing new customers and clients and whatever I'm doing I'm getting promotions my bank account is growing I have more financial freedom I'm living in my dream home I'm driving my dream car. I have all of these amazing things that are ex an expression of your abundance, of your love, of the universe's constant growth. It's now expressing itself in my life. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. That's what that hidden teaching of the Bible is saying. That what I just did was an example of how to live that part of the Bible out. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. If you express your gratitude that the universe's will, that God's will of abundance, love, happiness, success, freedom, constant expansion, that if you express your gratitude that it makes itself manifest in your life, then the, the end of that segment of, the, of that passage says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. That you can ask whatever you wish, but you ask it by already thanking God that it already exists in your life and then having your emotions, your feelings, radiating that frequency, that consciousness, because it says to those that have more will be given. You're possessing your desires in consciousness already thanking the universe for them abiding in God essentially is what that means abiding in it that you are you're expressing your oneness with it you're connected to it and my words abide in you what's God's words the word of God is consciousness you're expressing your consciousness and fixating and focusing your consciousness on the abundance of the universe, the success of the universe, how it's constantly multiplying in your life, that the universe always has your back. So then, 
My words abide in you. You've nailed that part. So then ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. And you're asking not by saying, not by a string of words. You don't ask by saying, hey God, could I have some money? Hey God, could you help me with this prayer? Hey God, could you help me find my soulmate? Hey God, could you help me get a new job? You don't ask with words. You ask with feeling. You ask with consciousness. Because to, to the universe, bringing money, bringing a soulmate, bringing any of these, that's a piece of cake. It's built the entire cosmos and it's spinning the earth perfectly around the sun a little bit further away and this would be a giant galactic freezer called Pluto. But we happen to be the perfect distance. So for God to bring the universe, spirit, consciousness, higher power, divine intelligence to bring money, love, happiness, success, promotion, more money, new opportunity, new sales in your business, anything to bring that into your life is so easy to the universe. It's like if LeBron James played against elementary school kids, he would just crush it. The universe is busy. God is busy constantly expanding the universe, spinning the solar system perfectly while it also spins through infinite space. It's so easy for the universe to bring the things here in our little playground into your life. It's so easy for it, but it responds to your feeling. When you start feeling that it's so easy and that the money and the love and all the things that you want are here and that God is in everything and that God wants you to be rich, happy and successful and, and, and experience love and joy, it wants it because it created you to experience all of these God-like experiences that you're meant so that you see you are a divine being. It did all of this for you. And when you start living from that place, that's when anything is possible. So I invite you to give this a try. I invite you to start speaking it into existence by abiding in God. That is, thank you universe. Thank you God that you were in everything, that every cell in my body vibrates in harmony with the perfection of the universe. Thank you that every fiber and, and tissue of my body vibrates in God energy. Thank you. And then the latter part, that God's words abide in you. You speaking life, you speaking abundance, you speaking of joy, you speaking of the beauty of the universe and the miraculous miracle working power that it possesses and that you possess because you are an extension of it and that it moves through you and uses you as an instrument for constant expansion, for constant growth, for more wealth, for more opportunities to be generous. It's using you as an instrument of love and not only have you now attracted an amazing loving relationship, but all of your other friendships, new business relationships, they're all built on the foundation of love and thank you universe that you've, that you've responded to my new vibration, my new frequency, my new consciousness, and that my life is continuing to amplify. The cup is running over. I'm in an overflow because I'm aware of my oneness with you, God. I'm aware of my oneness with you, universe. And so the kingdom of heaven is expanding in my life. Heaven on earth is here now. This is so exciting. So comment down below. The kingdom of heaven is within me. Comment down below, the kingdom of heaven is within me. Comment that down below, the kingdom of heaven is within me. And then ask yourself, what does that mean? The kingdom of heaven is within me. I'll tell you what it means. You are a divine being. All of the will of the universe, all of the qualities of God, of love, abundance, constant expansion and success are part of your destiny. And you can experience your entire life change today when you start thanking God in the universe that all of those qualities and experiences are already made manifest in your life. Then more and more and more and more and more things are going to come to you to those that have more will be given. Now you have this awareness that the universe is always supporting you, that you are one with God and that you can speak your dreams into existence. So if you haven't yet, make sure you use my, my um, success hypnosis. It's Jake's hypnosis right there down below. I created a success hypnosis to reprogram my subconscious mind. And if my subconscious mind was reprogrammed, I, I figured that I could then attract anything I wanted and that I would be always 
uh, sending out this frequency to God into the universe and so more things would keep coming back to me. The results were amazing. Over 400,000 people from all over the world have used it now. You can use it 100% for free. My only thing that I ask is that you use it at least once a day so you can really see the results start coming into your life. So it's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. That's jakeshypnosis.com and that's going to reprogram any old limiting beliefs so that you are totally connected to the miracle working power of the universe. That's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Jakeshypnosis Dot com right there down below. Then hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. The bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. So even if you already subscribed, just double check you actually hit the bell notification right over there on the side to make sure you're notified for new videos. Hit like to send this out into the YouTube universe and then comment down below I am one with God. Comment down below I am one with God. The miracle working presence of God, the miracle working presence of the universe is always available to you but when your consciousness starts expressing gratitude when your mind and your actual nervous system your feelings start expressing gratitude that you're one you're connected to you're supported by this God energy this universal intelligence then you are abiding in God and the words of God which is you expressing this universal consciousness can make anything possible for you. So comment down below, I love my life, jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Have a fantastic day and I will talk to you on the next video.